In the words of the ever excellent Marie Kondo, I love mess. I do. You guys know I love me some good drama, especially when it doesn't involve me. Like, I don't want to be in the drama. I don't want to be involved because then it's just like stressful. But I will 100% watch somebody else be involved in drama. I mean, there's a reason I like reality TV, right? There's a reason Gossip Girl is one of my favorite shows. It's the mess. It's the drama. Anyway, what up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl skitting back at it again. Today, we are here for some Reddit drama. We are here for some Reddit mess and I'm very excited about it. I'm super stoked. It's been a while since we've been here so I wanted to dive back in, okay? I just wanted to go straight to the deep end with some like unadulterated nonsense. Incidentally, this is not from r slash am I the asshole like most of my things from this are. This is from r slash true off my chest and when I tell you it is a doozy. First, I would like to say that I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. My husband confessed to me yesterday that he is in love with my sister in a drunken state. I don't know if I should take it seriously or it's just a drunk thing. Before we even get into the content, right? Before we get to the content of the post, that is a wild thing to come into your husband's brain uh, while he is drunk. When my husband's drunk, all he does is tell me how much he loves me and wants to kiss my face and sometimes more adult things. But that, he's never confessed to being in love with somebody else. That's a wild thing to do. That's a crazy thing to do. So uh, I, would, I, I would take it seriously, you know? I don't always hold with... Uh, drunk whatevers or sober whatevers. I don't actually know the phrase. Like, I don't always hold that, you know, because I say some things while drunk that I just don't mean at all. You know, like I want to eat Taco Bell. I don't want those fries. Like, you know, I say things I don't mean while I'm drunk all the time. But this is, this is a little different. It's a little different, but okay, let's go ahead. Let's Let's see what happens. Maybe something, maybe there's something that can redeem this situation. Yesterday we had dinner with my sister and her husband and we all had a lot to drink. After my sister and her husband left, my husband and I had sex. Congratulations. Neither of us were tired. So we continued drinking a bit of wine, listening to music in the background and everything was amazing. I thought my husband was smiling and in a good mood. He is always like that when he's drunk. I mean, the okay. The, the way that she said that made me think like, is he not normally like that when he's not drunk? But that's reading too much into it. We talked about my sister and her husband. He just suddenly said, I'm so in love with sister's name. I said, what? He said, I'm so desperately in love with sister's name. What I would do to taste her lips. She is brilliant. He looked dreamy and was still smiling. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> First of all, first of all, the fact that he managed to make it through what I would do to taste her lips without getting knocked out is crazy. Like your reaction wasn't immediately to start throwing things. Like that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. You have a lot of restraint, more restraint than I think most people would have or expect from you. I said, how drunk are you? He said, probably plenty. I was drunk too, but it still hit me like a ton of bricks. I just sat silent there and he too was in his own world with a smile etched on his face. He looked like he was a million miles away. I went to bed. Understandable response because there's no good that's going to come of this conversation while you guys are both still drunk. There's just like nothing positive is going to come from that conversation. So I do think it's good on you. Um, to, for for tabling the situation. I don't know if I would have been able to sleep though. I don't I don't know if I would have been able to go to bed. That would have been so incredibly distressing for me. This morning, all memories came rushing and now I'm not drunk. It hit me even more what he said. I'm horrified and my heart is in pieces. Yeah. He hasn't mentioned anything and is acting normal if hungover. I don't know what to do now. 
He has always had a good relationship with my sister with mutual respect. Should I ignore his drunken comments? Was that just him being drunk? Should I wait for him to start talking? Not sure he even remembers. You should definitely talk to your husband about this. I would wait till he's not hung over. But I, you should definitely talk to him about this is not even if it's like he misspoke or something like that. Right. If it's weighing on you like this, it's abs absolutely something that you need to talk to your partner about. Um, you and your partner have to be in a place where when they do things that make you uncomfortable, you have to be able to discuss those things with them. Um, absolutely. Even if, and if he doesn't remember that's a whole other thing. If he doesn't remember, that's a whole other thing. Like, bro, these are the things that you're saying when you're drunk. Maybe you need to cut back on the drinking because like you act crazy when you're drunk. Some people, even when they're not alcoholics, some people just shouldn't drink and that's okay. She asks, what about the sex we had? Something was different, even though I loved it. And I thought it was one of uh, one of the best sex of my life. He was different, passionate, tender, and loving. And he kept saying, I love you. You are brilliant. That's sketchy because he called your sister brilliant. So don't like that. P.S. My sister has always been modest and tomboyish, tomboyish, but she has lost 25 kilograms. Don't know how much that is. And has been working out for a year. She had a form fitting red dress yesterday with red lips. She looks stunning. And we all gave her compliments about it. She was very happy about it. I don't know why I included it this I thought maybe it's relevant I mean I don't know if it's relevant but it's on your mind so you can tell me that's fine this is not good this this is very not good and I don't like this for you um I also don't like I don't like it for your sister like what an uncomfortable position to be in not that she ever has to know I think if you and your husband ever work it out but this is oh this makes me sad. This makes me uncomfy, bumpy. Now, normally this is the part in the video where I would go to the comments to see what the internet has to say, but there are not one, but two updates to this. So I will, I'm gonna go through the comments here like briefly, but then we're gonna get to the updates cause I need to know the resolution to this. I can't like, this is awful. All right. Okay, this person said, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. My ex once told me, I love you, insert my twin sister's name here. And I said, that's my twin sister, not me. He was like, oh yeah, sorry, I got the names mixed up. He didn't, he was in love with my sister. He was dating me to get to my sister. This is definitely something you need to bluntly discuss with him. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. He was in love with your twin sister? Okay. Oh, he says, wasn't dating you the stupidest move. If you wanted your sister, no sister would accept her sister's ex. And she said, that's what I thought too. And then she dated him after what? I'm, I am so sorry. What did you just say to me? If my twin sister dated my ex, that was like in love with her while we were dating that my ex manipulated me into a relationship to get to her, I would have to fight her. There would have to be fisticuffs. I'm deleting your game saves because how dare you? Okay, moving on. This person says, I'm the baby sister that my brother-in-law has had some weird thing for going on 20 plus years. I'm not close with my, with my sister because of it and that sucks. It has always made me uncomfortable, so I avoid them since my sister never wanted to talk about it. I mean, understandably so. But then this person says, I am also the baby sister that my brother-in-law had a thing for. I haven't had any contact with them for years because my sister would always blame me. I remember the first time when I came to her because he had DM'd me saying I was so hot and all this other ick stuff when I was a minor. Why? What is going on? What is happening? Why are all of these men interested in their wives' sisters? What is going on here? What? What, it, like even, even if by some stretch of the imagination, you manage to find your wife's sister attractive, what would ever possess you to act upon it? 
Like, I get it. When you are married, you are not dead. You can notice when somebody is attractive or when you have mutual interests or what, like whatever, okay? Like, but what would ever convince you or persuade you to talk about it, to act upon it? Why is that anything other than a secret that you hold in the deepest, darkest corners of your soul? You go to the grave with that. What is... I am appalled. Anyway, let's get to the updates. That just made me so mad. That just pissed me off so bad. So this is an update after OP talked to their husband. I talked to my husband. He said he didn't remember a lot about that night, especially after my sister and her husband left and we continued drinking. I told him what he said and he didn't look shocked nor surprised, just that he didn't remember saying anything. I asked him if he felt it before we started drinking. He said that he always loved my sister because she is kind and warm. Then he said that she thought she looked very beautiful and probably his drunken self thought she was hot. He said it is normal that people are curious about the opposite sex. He said that he always thought she is beautiful because all my family is good looking, but her weight loss gave her confidence and she looked happy and he was happy for her. I asked him if he could choose between us and he was shocked and said that I was his wife and the mother of his children and he loved me. So I asked him if he had just met us, if I wasn't his wife or anything and my sister wasn't married. He said this was getting ridiculous and he hated playing the hypothetical games because people get worked up and fight about things that aren't really, I'm assuming it's supposed to say a problem there. After dinner, he said that he loved me very much and he is happy and I shouldn't overthink what he said when he was too drunk to even know who or where he was. I'm just not sure. Beloved, my dear, my darling, my sweet summer child, leave that man leave that man not because he's attracted to your sister although that is a problem why is he talking to you about it like this and before somebody is like oh well don't you want honesty there's a difference between honesty and like being honest in a way that's going to hurt somebody else this is very clearly something that would be hurtful. This is not, even if the, the, you do have an attraction to your significant other's sibling, this is not how you go about it. This is not how you talk about it. Um, and also I'm very intrigued because you mentioned that he gives all these reasons for why he thinks that your sister is so beautiful and blah, 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 and all these reasons why it's super normal. Where is the apology? Where is the, my bad, I was crazy drunk. Like that's not something that I ever should have said to you. Where is that? Looking into the comments, this person said, my husband has been shit faced, blackout drunk on numerous occasions and has never told me he loves anyone else. Catch it. When I used to get shit faced, I would confess my love for inanimate objects or food to my wife, but never another woman. I once drunkenly told a friend that I was madly in love with a guy named Salsa. We were eating salsa. That is how drunken confessions work, right? That is how, that's how it works. When I go, I would marry burrito and I'm eating a burrito. It is not, I would marry your best friend of 20 years. He's just so fantastic. And I mean, that's, <laughs> that's not how this works. Anyway, there's one more update. I know, I know this keeps going. I know this keeps going. But before we get to the update, what are your guys' thoughts so far? What are you guys kind of thinking right now? Also, what are some things that you have drunkenly confessed in your love for? Hmm? What are, what are some things that you like, you love, right? But then when you're drunk, you just like, you really love it. We're gonna move on to the final update. I do not believe that this per no, this person has not even made any other posts. So this is the final update. I don't know if we're going to get the resolution that we crave from this, y'all. I, I have no faith. This does not seem like a great situation. So let's go ahead. My husband confessed that he had feelings for my sister. She knew and never told me. Okay. All right. Oh, oh okay, guys. This is, 
this is beyond the pale. <sighs> Let me get my thoughts and everything in order. What do you mean she knew and never told you? Hi again. I have been delaying my update because honestly, I'm still fatigued. It has been rough. My husband and I have been to therapy and I don't know if I like therapy or if we are making any progress. Sometimes I feel like we are not making progress fast enough and sometimes I just want to give up and disappear. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry that this is happening to OP. This just sounds so exhausting and draining and hurtful. I have found out that my sister knew all along about my husband's feelings for her all these years and she has never bothered to alert me. I went on thinking I was happily married to a man whose heart I thought was mine. I yelled and raged at her and cried and she cried too and apologized and said that she didn't want to hurt me and didn't know what to do. I feel a lot of anger and resentment towards her and I've been playing my years with my husband, trying to remember every interaction with my sister and if I missed anything by being blindly stupid. I mean, I don't think it would be you being blindly stupid. That's not something that you would ever be looking for. I would, I would never be looking for that. You know what I mean? I am just so confused. I can't remember anything that is remotely alarming. And yet my sister never tried to avoid my husband. She gladly spent weekends, holidays and vacations with my husband and me. Wouldn't she have at least tried to distance herself? According to her, it was me she wanted to have a relationship with. Me and my children are the most important people to her. She didn't want to be apart from me. She told my husband that and he promised to never make her uncomfortable, but she knew he had feelings for her. She refused to answer if he still did, however, which is an answer itself. She panicked and said no, and please believe me. I told her that I needed some distance. She apologized and started crying. I haven't spoken to her in maybe three weeks. I heard that her husband is upset and has left the house because he didn't know either. Oh, which, duh, because there's, if my husband knew another man, like in our friend group or whatever had feelings for me, it'd be done. We would never hang out with that person ever again in my life. But it's just, damn, this whole thing has broken down. This drunken confession has destroyed not one, but two families. That's so upsetting. I don't know what more to update. I have tried to keep it simple. I feel like I need advice now more than ever. And honestly, therapy is leaving me feeling empty after every session. It feels, I don't know how to describe it, methodical and matter of fact. Only the practical and logical aspects that need to be solved. Am I right in being angry at my sister? Am I too optimistic that this could still work with my husband? Can he love me, just me? I don't know how to move on. I don't want to forget, I want to forgive. First and foremost, this is beyond Reddit's pay grade, but also you need to find a new therapist. If your therapist isn't working for you, if therapy isn't working for you, obviously you can take a break, that's fine, but find a new therapist, please. And, and if there's one thing that you guys can ever take away from any of these or anything that I say, it is that just because the first therapist doesn't work for you or the second or the third, sometimes it takes a long time to find the right therapist for you. You know, all therapists are not created equal. All types of therapy are not going to work for you. And you know, you're gonna come across therapists with like implicit and explicit biases that might not work for your situation. It, it, and it would be nice if you could just walk into the first therapist office that you find on Google and you went there and it would fix all of your problems. That is just unfortunately not the case. I would highly recommend finding a new therapist and not just for couples therapy, but for individual therapy. This is definitely a situation where I would recommend both, both so you can see my hands. I would recommend both individual and couples therapy. Um, I do not understand your sister's thought process. Okay, I shouldn't say I do not understand. I do not agree with your sister's thought process. Um, I definitely think that this is something that she, if she knew about it, she should have let, if she, if the sister knew about it, the sister should have let OP know because this is years now of this unrequited love and the damage that it has caused in this marriage. This should have been nipped in the bud immediately. By the way, that's the phrase. It's nipped in the bud, not nipped in the butt. Bud, not butt. Anyway, this should have been at the minute feelings were confessed to you, you should have marched, marched your happy ass over to your sister, said, hey, this is what your husband said to me. This needs to be dealt with. But the fact that your sister 
was letting your husband deal with this for however long and was, you know, letting you believe that nothing was wrong when there's literally cancer in your marriage. That's un that is unbelievably selfish, unbelievably selfish. And I do think that you're right to be angry with your sister. To be fair, though, and obviously you probably are, or maybe you're just numb to the situation. You have to be more angry with your husband for putting your sister in this situation. Um, like 10 minutes ago, I don't know how long this video is. 10 minutes ago, I was saying, oh, I feel so bad for the sister because what an uncomfortable situation. And I do still feel that way because it was an uncomfortable situation, but I kind of thought it was going to be like, she was going to be like, ew, oh my God, I can't believe you liked me. Not like, oh yeah, he likes me, my B. You know what I mean? I wanted mess. I didn't want tragedy. And now I'm sad about it. <laughs> Now I am unhappy. Let's see what the internet has to say. OP did what many women do, blame the woman in the situation, not the man they're in a relationship with. I don't think she's blaming her sister for the situation. I do think that she's blaming her sister for not being honest with her. And I definitely think that that is understandable. Also, while I, can, while I can understand OP feeling a certain betrayal, according to sister, this confession was years ago. Credit needs to be given. Sis never reciprocated to brother-in-law or encouraged him. But she didn't tell the sister. She should have told her. I don't understand why we're not talking about this. Should Sis should be commended for having integrity and not casting care to the wind and falling into an affair. No, she shouldn't. That is the bare minzies to not have an affair with your sister's husband. She does not deserve credit for it. What are you talking about? Okay, OP needs to decide how important sister is to her and if there's some possible forgiveness. Did OP ever say at any point that she cannot forgive her sister? No. She said, I want to forgive. I mean, she might've been talking about her husband, but I presumed that she would also want to forgive her sister. She didn't say that she didn't want to forgive her. She said that she told her she needed some distance. That's 100% reasonable. What is wrong with people on my... I don't get it. I do not understand. I feel like OP is having a very reasonable reaction to this entire situation. It isn't her feeling or her marriage to make such a big revelation. What kind of loyalty or lack thereof do you guys have towards your family members? You tell her. It'd be different if I don't even think, I personally don't think it would be different, but I understand that people feel like it would be different if the sister saw the husband cheating with somebody else, right? And then didn't want to tell her sister because she doesn't want to potentially be out on her ass if the husband manages to lie and turn his wife against her, right? These were feelings directly confessed to you. That means you have an obligation to tell your, like, I'm not understanding. It was on her husband to say, not her sister. What? Okay. Maybe one of you guys can explain to me why it would be on the, only the husband and not the sister. Like the feelings are on the husband, 100%. But once the feelings were confessed to the sister, the sister does have a responsibility and an obligation, I would think. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand. Somebody can help me understand, maybe. I was correct. We did not get the closure that I would like, that I would prefer even. Um, but this has opened up a slew of other questions uh, in regards to how do you guys feel if something, if you were in this situation or a similar situation, right? Like maybe it's not your actual sister, but just your best friend or something. Where, what would you do? What would your stance be? How would you, how would you take it? You know, because this is, this, not only is this situation insane to me, but the responses are insane. At the end of the day, I feel really bad for OP and I really hope that they are able to get the help and support that they need. It sucks because OP has lost now their husband as a source of refuge and their sister. So it would be, that's a tough, that's a really difficult to manage and maneuver situation. And I'm just really hoping that 
OP has other like friends and family that they can lean on. Um, that's it. That's the end of this Reddit story. This was even more insane than I thought it would be. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the discussion. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's skittin' lit.